Hey everybody, it's Erica with Everyday Gardening with Erica, and I am here this evening in the garden. I know it's been a hot minute since the last time that I did a video for you guys. I had some family in town, went on vacation, so I really haven't done a lot in the garden. Um, and so I'm glad to be back and to share with you kind of what's going on. I feel like, you know, it's mid-July, it's the dead of the summer, we're already hitting triple digits with the temperature, so my plants are starting to struggle a little bit and I can see it. So I'm having to do a lot more watering than usual um, and I'm not really sure how much longer they're gonna be out here surviving. So let me just kind of give you a quick tour uh, and show you what's going on and then um, we'll circle back. Okay, here are my two slicing tomato plants. They're still going strong. They haven't produced much fruit recently. The last time they had some fruit, I had a pest come in and take it from me. So I haven't been able to enjoy anything from this plant. Hey, Oakley. Okey pokey. Pretty dog. And in this bed, I still have my cucumbers and they're doing really well, except for um, right around here. And then in this plant right here, um, it's starting to show signs of uh, disease but they're still producing fruit. I just picked um, a really big cucumber yesterday and I've got another one growing in there as well. So let me show you what that looks like real quick. Check it out. So the cucumbers are doing well. I got another baby right here that's starting to produce. Also, these are my two volunteer tomato plants. These, um, I believe, it's one cherry tomato plant and one Roma tomato plant and you can see they're doing really well because they're starting to produce fruit and then in this part of the bed I was gonna plant some radishes but the radishes seeds didn't do very well in this heat I planted them anyway and look at this little guy he is starting to pop up so maybe I'll get one radish out of all of those that I planted the tomato plants I don't know if you've seen my previous video where I did a lot of pruning I did even more pruning back because of the heat and all of the rain that we got we got a lot of rain this summer they were starting to um, get so thick that there was no airflow through here and I was really worried about the plant so I pretty much took out two-thirds of the plant it seems like and that was kind of sad because there was fruit on a lot of those but it was necessary it was a necessary evil and I was going to show you when I was pruning these guys, I came across this garden spider and about scared the crap out of me. Forgive my language, but let me show you how wicked this spider is. Check him out. Isn't that sick? Oh. I'm leaving him in there because he's going to help my plants. So they're doing really well. They're still producing fruit. We'll see how much longer these guys will do. Now, I don't know if you've seen the other garden videos, but I had this potting bench over here, and then I had a small shed with a lawnmower equipment in there, and I went ahead and moved that out of here in order to um, make some more space. I wanna build some more beds on each side of the garden, and so that's kind of what prompted all of this. So I'm very excited to show you the newest addition to the garden. This is my little mini greenhouse and I'm excited about this because it's going to help me get the seeds started for the fall garden and of course in the spring I can do some stuff as well. So I'm super excited about uh, trying out this greenhouse and seeing what I can accomplish. Right here are the tomatoes uh, as I mentioned Adam had experimented with. He planted a slicing tomato on the top and cherry tomatoes on the bottom. And these two guys have really struggled the whole time. I, they're competing uh, with each other for nutrients in the soil and water, and they have struggled with pests. And so I just don't think that this is really an effective way to grow tomatoes personally. Um, so maybe it's our climate, and, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing this next year. And then the latest with the pallet garden, I'm, I had strawberries that were doing really well up here and I think the heat got to them because they started to wilt and to burn off. So I'm really kind of down about that because I was really looking forward to some strawberries. Now this one seems to be 
bouncing back so maybe this one will be okay this is the white strawberry and the white strawberry up here not so good the basil is doing okay it too was affected by the heat and I kept watering and pruning and it seems like there's some new leaves on it so I think that this one's gonna be okay after all in this bed are the two slicing tomatoes as well and if you are following me on Facebook I showed a picture of a huge slicing tomato that was starting to blush I was super nervous that a pest was gonna to get to it before I was able to and lo and behold it sure did so I have not enjoyed one tomato off of this plant because of the pests that we've dealt with however I wanted to show you that I've got three here in the back oh you can't see that third one there it is three in the back that I am looking forward to down here are the okra and they've really taken off you can see there's one there and there's a really big one here so I'm gonna need to pick those really soon in the second part of this bed I went ahead and planted some flowers so those two long stems in the back are sunflowers and the ones that are starting to sprout up up here in the front is just like a bee flower mix that I threw in the ground and so I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to really kind of sprout up but at least they're still doing well and finally are my peppers uh, I moved them out of the direct evening sunlight I felt like that was just a little bit too much for them uh, you can see the banana peppers we got one banana pepper out of this plant but it is not doing very well the jalapenos were struggling the serranos were struggling but they're starting to bounce back and I think it's because I gave them that break from the Sun well I hope you enjoyed the little garden tour and it's good to be back and I'm hoping to do some more videos in the near future as I gear up for the fall garden. Again, I've never done a spring summer garden and I certainly have not done a fall garden. So this is all a new experience for me and I hope that you guys are learning from it or at least uh, sharing in the laughter as I make some really critical mistakes. I've learned a lot from this garden. I'm looking forward to next spring. So more to come. Thanks again for watching. Take care. See you later, guys.